Now let's look at the AD converter. So AD converter. And um, how this works inside of this converter. So remember we have the analog signal and the analog signal is sent into the AD converter and then this produces numbers usually integer or something like that. So what you would like to look is, is here at the so-called AD converter and what is it doing to the analog signal. So these are, and that's a three-step process so AD conversion is a three step process and so let's look at the first at the first step so the first step is sampling so what does it mean let's draw an analog signal so t and we've got the xa of t here and that's our analog signal. So the sampling is looking just at these moments in time here and then and looking which value we are getting out of this here. And the distance between these samples is fixed and so the time between these samples is always t. So that's a sampling, that's a so-called sampling interval. So the sampling interval defines how often we are looking at the values of the signal here. So in terms of mass, we can write x a n t, and this gives us then x of n. So the so this is our this is our analog signal. Analog signal. So this, these are here our discrete values. Yeah, so, so we see x of n, that the t is now missing here. So what we're getting is just a sequence of numbers out of this step here. Yeah, so, um, and this, this t defines also our sampling rate here, and the sampling rate is um, obviously then the um, 1 over t, yeah, so fs is 1 over t and that's our, our sampling rate.